gone but always remembered. Reva would have turned 32 years old today. Her parents will spend the day reflecting on their daughter's life. They want to really dedicate today to Reva. It's her birthday, it's a personal thing, it's a personal matter to them. They would have loved to have celebrated her 32nd birthday with her. Unfortunately, they are not able to do so, so they don't want to speak to the media. They really just want their privacy to be respected, celebrate her life, celebrate what she stood for. They want to focus on the Riva Rebecca Steenkamp Foundation, which is something that's very dear to their hearts now. Just remember Riva for the wonderful person that she was. As Oscar prepares for early correctional release, this is a statement from Riva's parents, June and Barry. We have forgiven Mr Pistorius even though he took the life of our precious daughter Riva. Our lives will never be the same as we live with the sadness of her death every day. Riva had so much to offer this world and we were all robbed of her life when she was killed. As a family, we do not seek to avenge her death and we do not want Mr Pistorius to suffer. That will not bring her back to us. However, a person found guilty of a crime must be held accountable for their actions. Statistics show that our society is under continuous attack from criminals and murderers. Incarceration of 10 months for taking a life is simply not enough. We fear that this will not send out the proper message and serve as the deterrent it should. June specifically asked me to thank the public because she's been inundated with well wishes, with messages. She went shopping yesterday and the amount of people that came up to her and just gave her a hug and just gave her that message of support. I cannot tell you, I cannot convey in words how much she appreciates that, how much Barry appreciates it and what that actually means to them. The state's appeal against Pistorius's culpable yes. homicide conviction yes. will be heard in November. Yes. In a previously recorded interview, June Stiernkamp expressed her feelings. He knows what happened. He's going to live with that forever. I don't care what happens to him. I really don't. It's not going to change my life. She will, she's never coming back. In September last year, Pistorius was found guilty of culpable homicide for shooting and killing Reva Stiernkamp. In October, he was jailed for five years. He'll have to live with this for the rest of his life. The last thing when he closes his eyes is what, well, the first thing when he closes his eyes, I'm sure, is he sees Reva. Her parents are focusing their energy on setting up the Reva Rebecca Steenkamp Foundation for Abused Women. It's what she could have done for South African women in, who were being abused. She would have done such a lot. She could even have changed the world. <laughs> Janine Lee, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.